Hello, today I'm going to show you how to factory reset, like a hard reset Ubuntu 17.10. This will remove all your documents, all your customization, all your settings, all your user accounts, all the apps you installed. It will make a factory reset, like a brand new Ubuntu system. So keep it in mind before continuing. We will get this, this app, Resetter, which is fully open source and you can check out all the details here. And it's great, it's up to date and it's a great app to use. So we have some instructions on how, on how to install it and we will use it in this video. But first of all, we have to download two dev packages. As you can see, here's the first one. We just click on it and say save file. And for the next one, also we just click on it. And we save this file also. Very hardcore stuff. <laughs> and it's very small packages, so we can just open the folder. And now the most important part is you have to uh, um, you have to right click inside the directory where your packages is the the two we just downloaded, and say open in terminal. So you have to be in the same directory in your terminal where your packages is, like this. Now we first have to install gdebi, it's a nice app to install dev packages and it will also install all the dependencies which you need. So that's awesome. So we can type in the password, press enter, press enter to confirm and I'm just gonna get the next command ready to go as you can see gdb is basically already installed it's just now the last parts so i won't fast forward fast forward the video because it's basically done already it's a very quick process and depending on how many files and documents and installed apps and settings, it might take quite a while to factory restore everything, which makes sense. And depending on the speed in your, of your computer, etc, etc, etc. So as you can see, we just paste the second command. Now for the third command, you will see here, it says resetter 1.1.2 in the commands, but we already have 1.1.3 so we will have to change the 2 to a 3 if I don't know when you are looking at this video so there might be, be already a new person out so just check it out and do it so we're gonna copy this and adapt the package name because this last one is just the package name which you download so it must be exactly the same so we're still gonna copy and paste and we're gonna move with our error arrow key to the two we're gonna remove the two and add a three that is the same as our package name like this otherwise it won't work we just press enter and as you can see something is happening <laughs> it's a great sign and it's gonna download quite a few stuff. And it's yes to confirm it. And I'm just gonna fast forward this part. And I will, and I will see you very soon. Okay, so basically the package is installed and you can see it inside your menu. Type in resetter. But you can't just open it up like this because it needs root, privile root privileges. So we have to type in in a in art in any terminal sudo resetter. This will give 
this will run the backings as root because we're going to change everything. As you can see, yes, this window that says there's a new version available, but we already got the latest 1.1.3, so it's just a uh, we can just ignore it. And as you can see now, we've got an easy install, an automatic reset, which we're going to use, which will factory restock everything. And here's another, another warning. This will reset your Ubuntu 70.10 installation to its factory defaults, local user accounts, and home directories, which is basically all your data will also be removed. Are you sure you like to continue? This will also remove all your apps also, so we say yes. And now we just wait a few seconds and as you can see we just can say okay. Because we know we're gonna lose everything. And I'm gonna fast forward this part where the process is running. So depending on how many data you have and how many apps installed and how many user accounts, how many settings, the speed of your computer, this can take a time, so I don't know how long it will take in your system. See you soon. Fantastic, as you can see it's all done and we got a new username, so they created a new user account with default and new life free. Please make sure you remember these, this username and password, otherwise you will be stuck. <laughs> so we say, okay, you can afterwards create new ones again. So do you want to reboot now? I'll say yes, and I will fast over the video until the reboot is finished. See you soon. Fantastic. As you can see, everything went well, and then we can just and we could use our account default now, of course. And now we can just type in new life free exclamation mark. And as you can see, it works. And we are logging in and we should have a stock Ubuntu account. Of course, from now on, if you want to have a different username, different password, you can go to users, make a new account, delete this one, and then you go. Yeah, so basically it worked in exactly how it is a stock factory reset version of Ubuntu 17.10. Thank you for watching. See you later. Please subscribe and goodbye.